let's suppose they give me two weird equations. All right, so I'm actually gonna, I'm working on number two, just so I, uh, from last night's homework, because I want some equations to put in. Okay, so one minus um, an e raised to the negative x. All right, so some yucky equation, and that's not too awful bad for a yucky equation. All right, and then the next equation was an x raised to the third. Okay, now let's zoom in a standard window just to, why did I hit zoom three? All right, that's not bad. Let's do zoom six. Okay, so again, now when I graph that one, and this is going to happen to you on the AP test, all right, you're going to put the equations in, all right, and then it's going to look like this and it's going to be so cluttered. This is where you really need to be proficient at your graphing calculator. All right, I need to look right there in between, like on the x-axis in between zero and two, all right, where that crosses because like you, you can't see it. So you really need to be good with your Z box. All right, so we learned these earlier. I'm gonna go up, I'm, whoa, that's too fast. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna do um, a box around the area. All right, and if you need to go back and watch, see I'm just forming a box around the part that I want to zoom in on. Okay. Okay, much, much better. Now you can clearly see that little space in there and you can see that where that flashing cursor is right now. But on the calculator now, the picture they gave you in the, uh, on the worksheet really looked like this was at one, but now I can clearly see that is not at one. Okay, now again, we don't trace along the curve. It's flashing right there and it's telling you that X is at 0.8333. You don't trust that, all right? You're gonna do second calc and you're gonna find that intersection point and let the calculator do it the right way, all right? It asks for the first curve. Let's move away from it just so we know we're on the first curve. It jumps over to the second curve. We all know how to do this. And then it wants you to guess, all right? You all know how to find intersection points on the calculator. That's not what I'm worried about, okay? Now, it found it at 0.8251555555, okay? And if I wanted, I could probably even find that more precise, but that's sufficient enough. Now, that right there is X. Let's see if I can remember how to do this, because if I can't remember how to do this, it's going to be bad. Okay, so I've got to get out of my graph, so I'm going to go second quit, all right? Then I'm going to hit X, and I'm going to hit enter. Oh, yes, good. I remember how to do this. Okay, that is the exact same decimal that was in my graphing calculator that it found. All right, so it's in X right now. All right, let's store it in A. Down in the bottom left-hand corner of the calculator, you have an STO. All right, so a, that I'm storing the answer. So the A and S, I'm storing this answer. I pulled it out of the, the graph. It's in answer and I want to put it in A, crap. Oh my God, that's so small, I can't see. All right, so A is in green above the math button. So if I do alpha math, it's gonna store it in A, okay? All right, now it's in A. Now let's go back. I said the other day to you, I said Y vars, didn't I? Okay, so if I do Y equals, all right, this right here is in Y1 x to the third is in y2. All right, these are your y bars. y1, y2, y3, y4, all right, are your y bars. They are working just like variables, okay? Now, let's see if I can remember how to get to y bars. Let's do alpha f4. Aha, I did it. All right, alpha f4 shortcut gets you, look in the bottom right-hand corner right there where it says y bars, all right? You may use y sub one, y sub two, y sub three as variables, just like you do x, y, z, and just like you do a, b, c, all right? So if you have a really complicated expression that you have typed into y1 and you're on the AP test, it's timed. You only have so long. You don't wanna make a mistake because you typed it in wrong. So type it in one time, put it in y1, okay? Or y2 or wherever you're gonna put it double check at that moment that you typed it in right. You've typed it in one time. It's going to save you time. Now, I'm going to click out of here and clear out of there. Okay, now let's suppose I need to run an integral. All right, so math button. All right, and I'm going to finin it. So there's my nine. All right, let's say I'm running from zero 
to a the value that I stored. Okay, so um, alpha math puts my a up there. Now um, I don't know. I'm just randomly doing. We do top curve minus bottom curve, right, on something. So let's suppose I want to do y sub one. Is y sub one that which which one's y sub one? Yeah, y sub one is my top curve. So y sub one was stored in y sub one minus y bars minus the second curve y1 minus y2 it knows the equations are in there for y1 it knows the equations are in there for y2 now those equations are written in terms of x so i put an x right there and it will calculate that isn't that cool all right so um, you need to start practicing with your y bars. You need to start practicing pulling a value out of your graph. All right. So like we pulled that out. All right. Is everybody, do I need to do that again? Or are we good? When we were in the graph, we pulled it out. We did that with our trig functions when we solved trig functions. But again, we were during virtual last year. So I don't know how much of that you remembered. Okay. So that's just a really cool.